What happened, Rodoshi? You look crestfallen. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. I'm just a little bit worried. Worried about what? Well, today I came here to my village for a vacation. But isn't that supposed to be a good thing? Yes, it's just that there's a farmer who lives right beside a river in our village. And I have known him for a very long time. He's a really good person and now he's in trouble. Why? What happened to him? He used to have a great area of land for farming. However, about a month ago, the river beside his land overflowed and washed away all the crops and destroyed his entire land. A huge amount of soil got washed away and now he doesn't have any land for farming. Wait, remember we learned about land reclamation in our geography class? You could use your knowledge to help him. Can you please request him to come here? Yes, of course. Hi children, did you want to talk to me? Yes, um, we're sorry to hear about your loss, but you know we think we can help you. <laughs> How can you help me? I mean, don't I need an expert for this? Like someone who will give me more land for use? Um, no, we aren't experts, but we sure can help you decide how you can increase your land. How will I increase my land? I don't have magic to do it. Well, you don't need magic for it. All you need to do is to know and decide which method of land reclamation is best for you. I know about land reclamation. It is a way to increase more land for use by using different methods, like landfill, impoldering, draining swamps, etc. I actually think I could use the method of landfill. But I want to know everything about it before actually doing it. No problem. We have learned about it in our school, and we will help you to know more about it so that you can take steps accordingly. Land Reclamation Landfill Method The Landfill Method, what is it? Landfill is a method of land reclamation. It is a simple method where large amounts of soil, rocks and sand and other materials are used to fill up an area, either for creating new land for or restoring the damaged land. It is often used for restoring land damaged by mining or for creating new lands in areas with high population or little areas of land. begin with, you need to know about some of the strengths of the landfill method. The main strength is that it allows us to increase the total amount of land by either creating more land or by restoring the land which was damaged. Secondly, the landfill method is much more inexpensive than the other methods since it doesn't require as many equipments as the other methods. However, it still does need some equipment and advanced technology. Also, the landfill method is much easier to carry out when compared to other methods, such as while in pondering, when all pump stations are needed to be built, water needs to be removed from the area which is being reclaimed, also called the polder, and many other difficult steps are there. But for the landfill method, huge amount of soil and other materials are needed to fill up the area. Another great advantage of the landfill method is that many other methods of land reclamation can also be carried out through the landfill method, such as draining swamps or restoring the land which was damaged due to mining. Swamps are low-lying areas which are wet and soggy, and due to some unfavorable conditions, swamps are not suitable for human use, so they remain unused. But if we drain the swamps using candles, and after that, if we use a landfill method for filling up the empty space, then it can make these areas suitable for use. So it directly brings unused land into use. We know that when an area is being mined, huge gaps or holes are created on the ground, and sometimes water fills up the space, creating mining pools. When the land is mined, some poisonous materials or minerals, such as some kind of alkaline, may be found in the soil, which might harm the crop or make the place unsuitable for crops to grow. 
We can fix this by using the landfill method. After mining, the poisonous waste can be separated from the non-poisonous materials. And then, using the non-poisonous materials, we can fill up the area which is being reclaimed. This can be done when there is a huge hole or gap on the ground. But if there are mining pools, then water can be used to fill in that area even more to make it shallower. Then, this can be turned into a lake. And this area can later be used for recreational purposes, such as an artificial lake for a tourist spot. We are all aware of the fact that while using the landfill method, huge amounts of soil, water, and other materials are needed. Sometimes these materials may be collected from other countries, and when this happens, there can be a better relationship and bond between both countries, which might help a lot in the future. Lastly, when more land is available, there can be developments in some sectors, such as transportation, housing, education, etc. This mainly happens because with the increase of more land, there is an increase in the population, and so more jobs, housing, and other facilities are there for the higher number of people. So these are some of the main strengths of the landfill method. Here are some of the weaknesses of landfill method. Despite its many benefits, some potential drawbacks exist to landfill reclamation. This technology may release the methane and other gases, for example, that result of decomposing wastes. It may also unearth hazardous materials which can be costly to manage. In addition, the excavation work involved in reclamation may cause adjacent landfill areas to sink or con collapse. Finally, the dense abrasive nature of reclaimed waste may shorten the life of excavation ex equipment. When there is a new worker who might be an extra, they may hamper the process of the landfill method. Now, let's get to know about some opportunities that the landfill method provides. Firstly, it creates opportunities for land to be easily converted into usable land. Because it's a method of land reclamation, we can easily turn unusable land into usable land. It can also help us avoid the high cost of acquiring additional land. This is because using the landfill method, we are reclaiming a damaged land that was there earlier and we're not acquiring new land which is uh, highly expensive compared to uh, using the landfill method. It also creates opportunities for both plants and animals to flourish because it is creating additional land. It also helps in the advancement of a country or area because after turning the unusable land into new usable land, we can build factories uh, there and people can work and build a life for themselves. It can also help to increase crop yield both directly and indirectly because it can increase the amount of arable land. Now, once we convert that damaged unusable land into usable land, we can um, turn it into uh, arable land by using fertilizers, either chemical or natural, since, and this will increase it um, both directly because there is new land for farmers to produce crops and for agricultural use, and there, it is also uh, increased indirectly since people can use fertilizers to increase uh, their uh, yearly crop harvest. It can create opportunities for more types of land reclamation like draining swamps. Because of this people have a variety, a variety of methods to choose from. The landfill method can also help cover some downsides of other land reclamation methods such as mining. So when we're mining it can create a huge gap in the land and we can use the landfill method to uh, fill in that huge gap, gap and so make that area um, much uh, better and usable. It can also provide employment opportunities to many since for this work you don't necessarily have to be very educated and so the people who work um, the workers, like uh, people who work for constructions and those type of people, it can provide employment opportunities to uh, many more. And this process requires collaboration, so here both people and countries need to maintain collaboration. The collaboration between two countries can help develop 
uh, both and also help each other since it can improve their relations and their uh, trading. It can increase the land in a specific country since we can construct new islands with it. These new lands can create opportunities for, uh, for people to both live and work and um, help themselves develop and create um, a life, a better life for themselves. It can also contribute to various parts of our daily life and uh, improve the quality of life since um, people can move to other more developed areas which uh, have been turned into usable land. A new man-made islands can be added to the country as a new part and this whole method is a low-cost method and it also can limit the migration of debris since we're filling in the land. Threats to landfill method. The first thing that is a problem with landfill method is it, ca it causes a lot of noise and can disturb people and in a lot of places noise is actually illegal, it, it is actually illegal to uh, cause too much noise. The second thing is the landfill method can be dangerous for workers as unloading sand and rocks can be harmful to people as, the, as there is a lot of dust and it can also seriously hurt people if it falls. The third third thing is it is not a fast process because you have to very because you have to get you have to get soil sand and etc from other places you have to you have to take it to the place you have to you want to reclaim and then you have to load it down flatten it out properly and then a lot of other steps we can which can take a lot of time so this is not something you can just instantly do yeah you need a lot of preparation the fourth thing is when materials such as soil Soil sand is are acquired from other areas such as mountains. The risk is increased in that area because when you take soil from there, you're kind of just taking away the balance of that specific place in the mountain, which can cause landslides. For example, in order to uh, in order in order to use the method of land accumulation, materials are needed to uh, from nearby hills and mountains. Like I said, it is very dangerous because you're taking away the support of that specific area of the mountain, which can cause landslides or avalanches in some cases, which are very dangerous and can hurt people. Now that we know about the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of the landfill method, I hope you can decide whether you will choose this method or not. Yes, I have decided that I will use this method of land reclamation. Thank you so much, children. You have helped me a lot. Oh, no need to thank us. It's our pleasure. here to my village for a vacation but isn't that supposed to be a good thing yes <laughs> i actually think i could use the method of landfill but i want to know everything about it <laughs> before Sorry. actually do <laughs> Ariba has died. Ariba has died. Breaking new body. Everyone is stuck. No, this is our line. It's a wave. It's. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>